Harry Potter cast his spell over millions of fans. Now some of them are writing the boy wizard's next adventure. That's ahead. Few fictional characters have the magic of Harry Potter. He has sold 450 million books worldwide. And he drew thousands this evening to the American premiere of his final movie here in New York. But some of his spellbound fans refuse to let Harry go. And we asked Michelle Miller to introduce us. Harry Potter. Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling wrote the final chapter of the seven book series in 2007. But since then, tens of thousands of amateur authors have picked up the tale. Their imaginations just run rampant, and instead of keeping it all up in their heads now, they can, they, they're like, oh, I've had this hilarious idea, and I'm going you know, to write it down and share it. Jada Jones writes what's known as fan fiction. Writers like her pen new Potter plots on dozens of websites, spinning new stories about the characters. I can't pick one, Rima says. In college, Jones and a friend co-authored the Shoebox Project, their version of the history of Hogwarts School of Magic. I don't think anyone other than J.K. Rowling can, you know, know exactly what the truth of the characters is, but we, as readers, get a feeling for that truth. Fan fiction's been around since the 19th century, with stories and parodies based on Alice in Wonderland, Sherlock Holmes, even Jane Austen. But fan fiction really exploded with the Internet. One fan fiction website has two million stories posted, more than 500,000 of them based on Harry Potter. It's huge. Emerson Sparts launched the fan website MuggleNet when he was just 12 years old. Harry Potter was the gateway drug for books for a generation. With the power of the internet, combined with the intricate and detailed world that J.K. Rowling created, it's also helped to catalyze a generation of writers. Author J.K. Rowling doesn't seem to mind. This fall, she'll launch her own website, Pottermore, which may offer even more fan fiction fodder well after the last credit rolls on the big screen. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York. That's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.